Hey YouTube, I'm back with my fashion haul. I had an opportunity to spend some time hanging out and shopping with the fam over the weekend and I had a great time. It was a nice way to decompress after a very, very stressful September, October and uh, beginning of, of November. With the holidays coming up, we have lots of programs that we have to get out the door so that everybody can have those banging you know holiday parties while you in the back sweating making it look amazing they're out on the dance floor hooting it up so i'm glad that we got all of those done actually finished planning the one for my own company because i plan for them as well and so i'm looking forward to just decompressing and going to some of those parties but here you go this is these are the items that i picked up over the weekend okay sorry about that the first item that i picked up well, not the first item, but over the weekend I picked up a pair of dressy suede boots. Okay. And they're kind of high. Now, the reason why these boots are very significant to anyone's fashion wardrobe is because they have an inner platform that will give you the height without you feeling like you're walking on stilts. And then it has a nice sturdy, although thin, heel. Now... For those of us who are plus size girls or girls with thicker legs, if you're hippier and, and have just, you know, thicker thighs, these balance the body out. It will allow you to have the thickness of the boot, especially if you have a larger calf. These work very, very well. And they're by Via Spiga if you're looking for them. Um, they retail for $4.98. I picked them up for, uh, I think, $109. And they're really, really good boots. Now, they are extremely versatile because they can be worn with just about anything that you have in your wardrobe, dressed up or dressed down. And they just pull the outfit together. And they'll also give you a little bit of height, which will sometimes um, balance out a curvier shape. Now, for those of us curvier shapes that just want some flats you know it's like I don't want heels I'm tired of wearing heels I picked up these boots and they are flat and um, these are by Madden I think I paid 80 bucks for them um, and the reason why I invest in my footwear is because these staples will carry you through the sands of time if you really really invest in great footwear it will sometimes transform an outfit that's one of the reasons why I love accessories and shoes and handbags because if you have on a very simple white or black or camel or cream outfit these will pull these staples will pull everything together and make it look really really fashionable really really um, fashion forward and make you look polished just not dressed so I, of course, had to get some accessories, and so I picked up this ring. And um, my sister said it looked like a bug, but I wanted it because this is a tiger's eye. And I thought that was just beautiful. She was like, it looks like a bug, baby. Don't get it, but I got it anyway. And I also got a flower, and it's beautiful. These rings are by Glitterati. I don't know if they have a website or anything, but um, it's a really, really pretty store with everything sparkly that you can imagine. And I also picked up earrings from, um, it was sort of like a, a jewelry wholesale type of store, but I don't have my ears pierced. And that is something that a lot of people does not know. My husband didn't know about it, about me until we were well and, and dating. But I don't have my ears pierced. And I wear clip-ons. And these are clip-ons. And they're kind of trendy, but not overpoweringly so. I like a larger earring because I have a fuller face and lots of hair. So I can carry off a larger earring. If you also have a smaller face and short hair, a larger earring would take it there too. So I got the earrings in yellow. I also got them in magenta purple. And in white. Cute. Now, I needed to pick up some more accessories. And so I picked up a Betsy Johnson handbag. I think the bag retailed for like 300 and something dollars. But in um, off sacks. Off fifth? It's whichever one is Saks Fifth Avenue. I think it's off fifth. I picked it up. They had a friends and family type of sale going on. And so the bag, I actually got it for about 80 bucks. And then the last fashion item I picked up, it came from TJ Maxx. 
in Delaware because when I shop we shop the eastern seaboard so we kind of worked our way on up there um, and it came from the TJ Maxx up there it's by Lily Pulitzer and it's the art of persuasion purse and this is oh, let me see if I can get it up this is what it looks like and it's a kind it's longer than it is wide and tall but what I really loved about it is the detailed it's gorgeous patent cream patent leather and then it has this elephant which the camera's not going to pick it up but he's all enameled and lots of um, enamel work and sparkles on him and then the inside of the bag is just too freaking cute look at that that is so cute I just feel like I stepped out of winter and went to Florida so it is a very very cute bag um, it was selling for I think the retail value of the bag was like $4.98 and I got it for like 80 bucks out of the TJ Maxx so you can really pick up some great bargains if you look for them that is my fashion haul I'll be coming back with a segment that will tell you how to pull all this fashion stuff together and make it look high thank you so much for watching Mwah! smooches